Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be stratifying our American chestnut trees from our mature American chestnut trees. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I am so happy that we finally have nuts from the trees. All right guys, here we have the offspring of the mature American chestnut tree. They've been kept in this baggie, this little baggie with a wet paper, with a damp paper towel for a while. And it seems to be doing good so far but it's time to get them in some actual dirt to stratify in the fridge. Way better than, you know, a damp paper towel. Okay, so right here we have the ones that do not have holes in them. They were given a hot water bath, so even if a worm was developing in them, my thing will focus, even if a worm was developing in them, they'll be fine. There's a little tiny, teeny, tiny, like, if it'll focus, like ping holes. Not sure if that was a worm coming out or not. So, if it'll focus, we'll get lucky if these germinate. <laughs> I'm hoping they do. They don't have any holes. They're firm. They should stratify and they should germinate. Over here, we have ones with holes in them where the worms exited. Some of that's a little mold because I had a little bit too much moisture on the paper towel. But as you can see, there's a worm hole. But the nut is still firm. And I've seen chestnuts that were Chinese before with holes in them actually still stratify and germinate. So I'm guessing it's possible. So that's why I haven't thrown these away. I just hope for the best. They've never frozen, so we're just going to hope that they can stratify successfully and germinate. So all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty good. If we get all nine of those, I will be very happy. Finally getting offspring from the mature American chestnut tree. So what happened, I guess, is that one little tree that I didn't think there was pollen, it actually did have pollen and I just didn't see it. And that's how the big tree got pollinated. Now I probably missed a ton of nuts because I got there very late in the season. So there was a bunch that probably fell and the squirrels ate them. But I'm happy I got this many. I wish I would have got there sooner. One thing I don't like is the weevils that are in the American chestnut tree they immediately come out as soon as the nuts hit the ground. But on the Chinese, it takes like three weeks. So I don't know what type of weevil it is. That's a problem that'll be handled in the future when we have a big orchard of American chestnut trees. And that'll be complicated to take care of the problem. But the best way is when you immediately get the nuts, you give the nuts a hot water bath and then it take care, takes care of the weevils without harming the nuts. And yeah, these are given a hot water bath just to make sure that they don't become like these ones. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess let's let's get to it. So we have our baggie right here that I poked some holes in. We have our, not peat, but dirt that's pretty lightweight. It'll work as peat. So what I'm gonna do is put a layer in here, and then we're gonna put a layer of chestnuts in, a layer, and then a layer. So let me get right to it. All right, so right here we got a layer. Now I'm just gonna take more, put it over top like that, and continue that process until it's done. I'll be back when I am done. All right, guys, we have them all bagged up now. Now they're going to go in the fridge for like two months. I'm going to check on them in between to make sure they don't dry out and make sure they're not too wet, make sure they're not molding, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here we have the first offspring of the mature American chestnut trees. Yeah, we have those, we had those two saplings, the one died, but we still have the one sapling. But now we have more of a chance of having more, which will really help their breeding project. Once again, thank you to everyone that donated to the GoFundMe. We have more than enough money to buy a ton of trees, a ton of nuts to turn into trees for this coming year. So thank you guys so much for that. Very happy. I'm so happy that we finally have, finally have nuts from the mature American chestnut tree. Hopefully they stratify and hopefully they germinate. I mean, they should. I think I caught them early before any of the worms destroyed the nuts too much. So we're gonna take those. We're gonna raise those. We're gonna take the ones we're buying with the GoFundMe project. And then eventually we're gonna breed those together hope to hopefully get a blight resistant American chestnut tree. So thank you guys for following along. Thank you to anyone that donated. It is much appreciated. And well, I guess that's about it for this video. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later.